Thank you for joining this meditation. Life is a series of constant adjustments. The need to be flexible, to be resilient, and to be resourceful. To understand one's situation and one's surroundings. And as you prepare for your meditation, understanding your surroundings, understanding how you're going to take your seat, how you're going to support your body, sitting in practice or lying in practice is not easy. So finding a comfortable seat but still being able to feel that your body is upright, but not uptight is important. So finding that position now as you prepare for practice, noticing contact between your body and the floor, the ground, or your seat, and closing your eyes if that feels okay. Connecting to the breath. We want to down-regulate in this practice. We'll focus on breathing through the nose. In and out through the nose. Which is the original pranayama approach to breath. As we down-regulate, we find the capacity to connect back to flow state or Wu Wei, as the Chinese refer to it, ancient Taoism. It's the capacity to effortlessly move through life. Knowing that right now, in this moment, everything is okay. So closing the mouth and focusing solely on the inhale and exhale through the nose. Bringing some attention to the inhale and creating capacity to count on the way in to four and to count to six on the exhale. Keeping a focus on that. So we're counting on the inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Continue to follow this rhythm. It will become challenging at a point. As your body feels a little bit of oxygen starvation. And this is perfectly normal. So just regulating as best you can with your breath, maybe just taking a little bit more oxygen in and out. But 
but moving to the point where if there was a piece of paper placed in front of the nose, either the inhale to four or the exhale to six would move the paper. It's creating that breath that we see in babies. They are the Zen masters of breathing. We are born with this deep universal knowledge of breathing. And over time, we can forget. So just like the Zen master baby breathing, We want the paper to be undisturbed by the breath. Four seconds in, six seconds out. Four seconds in, six seconds out. Maybe just noticing now the contact of the body on your chair or the floor. Noticing the support offered by gravity as it holds you in place. Of course the mind will wander off in all kinds of directions. The purpose of our practice is to be with our feet, and to avoid our head from being in the clouds. So sense into your body now and find out where are my feet? What's under them? What do my toes feel, sense, touch? the temperature around my toes? What's the contact of my toes? Fabric or floor or tile? Or is it a sense of wind or cold, heat? Tingling? Is there a sense of pain in the feet or ease? Just noticing whatever's there. When we are with our feet, when we are grounded, we are present in this moment. The only moment where we have sovereignty, capacity to influence. And the intention here is the influence is breathing, being, and slowing down. Down regulating, focusing on the breath. Four seconds in, six seconds out. Four seconds in, six seconds out. Just noticing that as you sit here, like a mountain, strong, composed, and present. That right now, in this moment, 
all is well. Although there may be past concerns or future worries. Connecting to the breath, feeling the body in the seat and being with your feet. Fills you with a sense of present moment awareness. And as the mind drifts and wanders away, come back to your feet. Notice their contact points. Come back to your seat. Notice the contact, the support, lower back, buttocks, legs. Notice the breath. Keeping the mouth closed and breathing soft and gently in through the nose, out through the nose. Accessing the diaphragm so the belly rises like a baby. Breathing out slowly so the belly softens like a baby. breath is also subtle. Again, if there was a piece of paper in front of the nose, it would not move. Use this time to downregulate, to repair the nervous system and the mind. Just like the spider who has a damaged web, he does not leave the web unrepaired. He does not leave the web flapping in the wind in the hope that it might catch something. He takes the time to begin again. To re-spin the web. As we sit here, we begin again to restart. Our energy, our life force is the breath, the pranayama. Breathe in, breathe out. The simplicity and the complexity are interconnected. If you're feeling overwhelmed, it's time to practice more. If you're feeling happy, it's time to practice more. If you feel you don't need to practice more, it's time to practice more. Noticing where the mind is, bringing it back to where the feet are to where the seat is, to this moment, to this breath, counting in four, breathing out six, in through the nose, out through the nose.
maybe placing a hand on the heart as we come closer to finishing. Just with the hand on the heart, continuing to breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. But just saying to yourself as you place the hand on the heart, right now in this moment, as I breathe here in this seat, all is well. Right now in this moment, as I breathe, all is well. And just once again, noticing the seat, the feet, the area surrounding you, gently, when you're ready, opening your eyes the meditation. And to move through your day holding on to the idea that as we breathe and connect, all is well. <laughs>